My name is Mark. Today we're going to talk about Eastwood's new solid rivet kit. What it is, why you need it, and how to use it. So let's get started. Today what we're going to do for our project is assemble this uh, door panel. As you can see, we scaled it down, took a piece of aluminum, we wheeled it, put a brush on it, and then we took some other pieces here. All I did was cut them out, put a little polish on it. So what we're going to do is take these pieces here, held together with the Clecos that are supplied with the kit, and go ahead and install a rivet into every one of these holes. Now we could use some type of bonding adhesive or even weld it, but what we wanted was more of an aircraft and a race car finish showing the exposed rivets along here. So that's our project. Here's how we're going to accomplish it. We give you everything needed to uh, hold the components securely and install the rivets in one kit. You got your pneumatic gun. You have your set of Clecos here in a 316 and a 1 8 diameter. The reason for a 316 larger rivets is more of a structural application. You got your rivet sits, about two pounds of each rivet, side grips, and your bucking bar. So let's go ahead, I'll show you how to drive and set the rivets, and we'll finish this project up. All right, the most important step in installing solid rivets is your layout and spacing. Take your time to follow all the detailed instructions we have supplied with the kit. Uh, drill the holes accurately, deburr them, and you'll end up with a very nice design. The first piece in the kit is the rivet gun itself. What you want to do is put about 40 psi of air to it. We just regulated it right here at the gun. Then you're going to install your rivet set. We're using 1 8 rivets, round heads for this uh, project here. So we're going to take our set. Go ahead and install it in the gun. Now what you'll also be using is a bucking bar. This one here is a nice one that we got. You got multiple working surfaces here, large, flat. You can grip this real nice and get into recesses here, angled. What these are going to be used for, these surfaces, is on the tail end of the rivet, a small end, that'll be placed against these, one of these surfaces here and driven flat. I'll be able to show you this in more detail, a little clarity, once we get onto the piece here. So let's go ahead, put a rivet in. The rivet holes, like I said, we've drilled them, deburred them, and cleaned them. But once you go together with your piece here, you may need to just run your 1 8 bit through a hole. And there's no problem doing that. What you don't want to do is enlarge the holes, but you may just catch a burr. So just something like that, running it through. The rivet should slide into the hole with just a little bit of uh, friction, if anything. Now the back side, in this particular application, what I'm going to be doing is holding the bucking bar using this large surface like that. Now, as we say in the instruction manual, get some scrap material and practice this first. It is a little bit of a, a learning curve, but not much. Maybe four or five rivets and you'll have it down. But we show you the detail of what that bucked head should look like on here. So go ahead, I'll show you this side. The rivet set goes on the rivet head. And you want to keep that parallel. You want to try not to be in any angle on here. If you are, what you'll do is you'll create what's called a smiley face. You'll actually have it deformed, the bottom edge of the rivet itself. So, here we go, the first one. No deformation, no smiling on that side. Right there's about one and a half time diameter is what our bucked end would look like. So now we just do the other 236 of these and you'll see what a pattern looks like.
as you can see, the project turned out pretty well. This is something that you guys can do with the Eastwood Solid Rivet Kit, maybe an hour or two of some practice on some scrap metal. So go ahead and visit us at eastwood.com for the Solid Rivet Kit and other tools to help you do the job right.